back ladies and gentlemen to finance tube this is your friend vishal thakkar here again with one more important lesson one of the steps to becoming rich is to start your own company or your own business now when you start your own business one of the first question that comes to your mind is what should be the legal structure of your entity or business whilst there are so many options available let us in today's light understand that given the circumstances and the tax laws which are existing in the country let's see how we can create our own business entity and what are the options well to start with as we all know bill gates founded his company microsoft out from a garage and so did the apple founder steve jobs when they started out they selected the simple most entity structure which is known as sole proprietorship you go ahead you register yourself as a proprietor or an entrepreneur and bingo you're good to go but as your company grows you would want to rope in more people and initially you would not have enough money to take all these talented people on your roles so what do you do you offer partnership that's where you have the second form of legal structure which is known as partnership now if you see uh, steve jobs introduced steve wozniak as a partner and they started sharing profits most important thing was apart from sharing profits they shared the ownership of the company now what happens is that as in your business cycle when you continue to grow further you realize that both sole proprietorship and partnership has one serious limitation both of these form of legal structure does not recognize your company as a separate entity in the eyes of law now what does that mean that means that you and your partner are jointly severally as well as personally liable to pay off all the creditors and the claims that may arise on your company now it is okay when the amount of money is to be paid to the certain extent but as you grow so grows your business and with that grows risk to minimize that risk a new structure introduced in our country that is india is limited liability partnership now this concept or this legal structure has been existed since several decades in the developed part of the world now what it does is it simply puts a word limited liability to your legal structure which was erstwhile a partnership now suddenly now it does what it says suddenly your partnership becomes a very solid one why because now you and your partner are jointly and severally liable to the creditors and the claims of the company only to the extent of the capital contributed by both of you what does it mean it means that your personal assets and your personal belongings cannot be attached to the claims that may arise during the course of business to your entity and most importantly your company in in steve jobs case apple inc and in case of uh, bill gates microsoft inc were first time recognized as separate legal entity in the eyes of law then once you are large enough to raise capital from the markets or when you wish to undertake global projects or when you wish to raise so much money that it is beyond the limitations of your closed group of people at that point in time you form what you called as private company private company is an entity which is separate in the eyes of law can have multiple shareholders and the shareholders liability is restricted or limited to the extent of capital contributed by them this structure works fine in most cases 
only once you cross a level where you wish to get your company listed on a stock exchange and raise multiple amount of money which would run into millions of dollars is when you get your company listed on an exchange and convert a private company into a public company now having said that which legal structure is suitable to you depends upon what stage your business is today for example if you are at a starting stage a sole proprietorship or partnership would make sense the moment you enter the growth stage an llp or a private company is preferred only once you cross the threshold where you are international and carry out multiple international projects you should look at private company all the more if you are already into business and you already have a legal structure which is advised by your chartered accountant is it the time to review yes it is the new companies act 2013 has brought in draconian provisions which includes imprisonment up to 7 years and fines up to 2 crores if you don't comply with certain provisions hence it is time that you relook at the legal structure of your company and identify suitable person who can help you comply with the new companies act also in case if you wish to convert your legal structure you need to do that asap because unless you do that it would be very difficult for you to continue and grow your business so to conclude the learning is that an appropriate legal structure is very critical for the success of your business if you haven't subscribed now you may think that there is a lot of time for you to subscribe however i would insist you subscribe now because once you subscribe you receive updates about all the latest happenings in the finance and the legal fractions of our economy so subscribe now do remember finance tube is the place for wealth creation in earlier days there were share certificates which used to come to you now all these share certificates are dematerialized and the short form for dematerialized shares or to hold the place for these dematerialized shares is called dmat account